this is how you can make a steel sticker command using your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel you can get a super or god tier subscription on youtube or you can get a god tier subscription on discord you can also get any of these bot packages they are fully coded bot packages based on a specific topic if you're interested in this the links will be in the description below and let's go and get into the code all right so we're going to start by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and create steel sticker.js in here we're going to get our embed builder we can get our permissions bit field and get our context menu command builder and we can get our application command type and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js just like that all right then we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we're going to go ahead and create a context menu command so we're going to do data which is going to be new context menu command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name which is going to be a steel sticker and you can use capital letters here so we can make it like that and we're going to go ahead and do set type this is going to be our application command type dot message and we're going to go ahead and set our default member permissions to permissions bit field dot flags dot manage guild expression last thing we're going to go ahead and do is set our dm permission to false and we're going to add a comma we can do async executes so we can go in and get our interaction and we can actually open this up here we're going to do async function and we can go in and create send a message and we're just going to go ahead and pass in our message and our edit and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to say if no edit then we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to go await interaction dot reply and we're going to say content which is going to be message and we're going to also set informal to true then we're going to go ahead and say else and we're going to go ahead and do await interaction dot edit reply and we can say content which is going to be our message just like that but now that we have our send function we can actually go ahead and send it so we can do await send message and we're just going to go ahead and get an emoji and i'm going to go ahead and just get this one and we can go ahead and say stealing your sticker then we're going to go ahead and do const message equals await interaction dot channel dot messages dot fetch and we can go ahead and get our interaction dot target id just like that following that we can go ahead and say const sticker equals messages dot stickers dot first and then we're going to say if no sticker then we can go ahead and return await send message and we're just going to go ahead and get an emoji i'm going to do the caution one and i'm just going to go ahead and say there is no sticker in this message just like that and we're going to go ahead and set edit to true then we're going to go ahead and say if sticker that url that ends with and we can go ahead and get our dot json then we can go ahead and return as well and we're going to go ahead and do await send message and I'm just going to go ahead and get the exact same emoji and we're going to go ahead and put that within a string and inside of that we can say that is not a valid sticker file and we're also going to go ahead and set the edit to true and we're going to do var error and we can actually go ahead and create our stickers so we can do const created equals await interaction dot kill dot stickers dot create we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our name which is going to be our sticker dot name we can go ahead and get our description which is going to be sticker dot description and we're going to say or an empty string in case the sticker does not have a description then we're going to go ahead and do tags which is going to be at sticker.tags and finally we're going to get our file which is going to be our sticker.url so now we've created our sticker we're actually going to go in and catch an error and we're going to do async error and we can go ahead and open this up so we're going to go ahead and do a couple things we're first going to go ahead and set error to true and then we can go ahead and say if error.code equals and we're going to get 339 then we're going to go in and return wait send a message and i'm just going to go ahead and open up a string and we can go in and get that caution emoji again and i'm going to go in and say it looks like you reached your guilds and we can go ahead and bold sticker limits just like that and i'm also going to go in and set edit to true um, and then we're going to go ahead and say else return await send a message and I'm going to go ahead and get another caution emoji and we're just going to say an unknown error has occurred and we're also going to go ahead and set true as well and what we're doing there is basically we're using this function up above to say that we are not replying we actually have to edit this reply right here so we're just basically editing the reply when we have true right there. The other thing is I did make a mistake. I said messages right here. Just go ahead and change that to message. So now we can go ahead and actually finish this. So we're going to check to see if we have an error. And if we do, we can just go ahead and return and do nothing because we already went ahead and handled that above. Then we're going to go ahead and do a wait to send a message. And I'm going to go ahead and get our globe emoji. And we're just going to go ahead and finalize this by saying created your sticker using the name. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in brackets and we can say created.name. 
And then outside of that, in parentheses, we're going to go ahead and get our created.url. We're also going to go ahead and set that to true. So what this is doing is it's creating a hyperlink with the URL. So it's going to send a picture of what the sticker looks like, as well as the name. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, we're going to go ahead and test this out. The first thing we need to do is actually send a sticker. So let's just go ahead and send a random sticker. We can just do this one. And to access the command, we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to go ahead and click on apps and we're going to go ahead and use our sticker or our steal sticker command. So we're going to go ahead and send that and it's going to say stealing your sticker and then right away it's going to edit it saying it has been added uh, with the name right here and it's also going to give us that link to that image. Now, if we go into these stickers and we go to the server, as you can see, we have our sticker right here. It's the exact same name and the exact same description and tags as the one from the Discord admin server as well, just so you know. Let's go over to the sticker settings and you're going to notice we have one more sticker slot. So let's go ahead and steal another sticker and then we're going to test out our error handling system. I think this is a perfect time to test out a default sticker. So we can just do this classic wave one. And if we go ahead and use the steal sticker command, as you can see, it's going to say it's not a valid sticker file. Now, I did actually get one of these waves to work, so we can just go ahead and keep trying a default one until we get it to work. Um, this one did actually work, so it went ahead and created it using the default sticker. So if we were to actually go over to our stickers, now we have the exact same sticker as we did right here. It is a default one, but now it is within this server. So now if we go back over to the sticker settings, as you can see, we have five slots. So Let's go ahead and try to steal another one. We can just get this one. We can go ahead and do apps. We can steal it. And as you can see, it's going to say, looks like you've reached your guild sticker limit. This is nice because we're getting that very specific error code. So if we get another error, it's going to say it's an unknown error. Um, but this is very specific, meaning every time we get this, you know you have reached your sticker limit and it's not something else. Finally, we can just go ahead and test stealing another sticker, but this time we'll just do a message with no sticker. And as you can see, it's going to say there's no sticker in that message. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced steal sticker command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.